Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob. Welcome to my channel. Great to be back with another map making or um, mod um, explanation or whatever you want to call this type of video. <laughs> I'm not too sure myself. But yes, um, in light of a, a few um, questions and things, I thought I'll make a, a short video on the different ways of of uh, working with mods and placeables and stuff in the game or in the map maker and then in the game because um, yeah, it's 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 good to understand what you are working with and then the process involved to work with the one that you are currently uh, experiencing or working with i hope you catch what i'm saying <laughs> or understand rather great man listen guys uh, grab a cup of coffee or your favorite drink sit back and relax with me we're gonna have a look at uh, the three things that you um, normally will encounter in working with placeables and mods and kind of things in map making now this is not in normal game working this is for map makers so if you trying to make your own map this video is for you it will help you hopefully <laughs> great then guys so if this is your first time remember to like and subscribe it does really help my channel grow i appreciate that and do share my stuff with other guys out there that are also map makers and um, wondering about things you know together we try <laughs> good stuff man okay guys yes the first the first one on the left um i've, I've divided into three things basically that you'll encounter always is your normal in-game mods so if you go into your mods folder for instance under farming simulator 22 um there it is your mods folder all your mods is located there i've got two maps in the top that's unzipped so don't worry about those but the rest of these are normally your normal mods your plows and implements and trucks and tractors and whatever you like to download and add to your game comes in mod format and they are normally in a zip file so you can in your own map pull this complete zip file into your map as if it was a uh, addition to your map the problem with, or, or, or the, the the hassle with that is you are going to always need to have that specific mod in your mods folder because otherwise that mod won't, won't be available and won't work because you're going to load this mod or or this item into your map via your default uh, uh your placeables now the way to do that I'll, I'll explain how to do that and this is probably the easiest and simplest way of of putting a mod a working mod into your map it's sometimes challenging especially if the thing has got difficult uh, uh, scripts running or kind of things but if it's just a normal building with some lights and switches it's the simplest thing there is so um the process to do that will be to op to, to drop the mod in your mods folder open your map in game in farming simulator so you will go to your farming simulator game open it up place the mod where you want it in the map or you can actually place it anywhere because it doesn't really matter at that stage um, and then save that game open your save game here in the um, farming simulator 2 directory and then find your placeables oh, I, I just need to get the save game with stuff in it ah oh, i don't have a place a uh, save game but you open your placeables xml and find the line that was added for that mod and then you add that line you copy that whole line with all its stuff into your placeables xml and that's the end of it guys because that line will include everything maybe we should uh, um, just do a quick example of that because um, yeah it's sometimes easier um, if I show it by video than to try and explain it you know because that's the purpose of the video is to make the three ways clear so let us do that I'm gonna grab my normal map um, let me just see what normal maps I have there I think it was the wild and um, sorry I must go back to my mods folder Chaka's Rock let's use Chaka's Rock because that map is complete the wild I'm still busy with so let us um, let us do Chaka's Rock all right so I'm going to start up my game and I'll see you in game well guys I've realized that I don't really have a, a good enough placeable uh, or mod in the in my game that will do the job so i'm quickly downloading this one uh, old cow shit so uh, while we are just talking about the process it can quickly um, get done so let's have a look where it is 
There it is. It's already almost done, so we might as well just go back. It's all in. Right, so now you go career. Grab your save game and remember now to find. Uh, the easiest is probably just to do that. And then start the game. So what we do now, now we have a, a zipped mod in our mods folder called Old Cow Shed. Um, and I suppose if if the modder has um, named and um, specified the correct shop uh, shop uh, um, stuff in the zip mod disk, then uh, or in the zip description uh, of the of the mod, then hopefully we will find it in the right spot too. <laughs> so let's let's all thumbs, guys. <laughs> Great stuff. So while the map is loading, let's just go in start. Right. So now you find a placeable spot, obviously, to place your mod. And this one is th this old field up here will probably do. Let's go to purchase uh, to the hamburger and then into there and then under animals. I think hopefully, yeah, there it is. All right, it collides with the player. You think? So now you just place it down, just like that. Doesn't matter. You just just want the mod in the game, and all you need to do now is escape, escape, and save your map. And do, guys, I always say this, or try and remember to say it, um, do make a note of your save game slot that you've used. I hope I did. Uh, career, yeah, here it is. Time play, two seconds, and that is it there. So make a note of the slot that you were using. I'm using just the first one, because mine is empty. And that's it. So now we go into our farming simulator um, directory where the save games is that's normally under your documents folder my games farming simulator 22 and once you're in there you will find your save games there that's why I say it's re remember the save game slot because you're gonna need to pick the right one here um, I'm in number one so there it is now you open the items not the items the placeables.xml and uh, my word. I've reinstalled my whole computer so everything is crazy Demacar or um, I won't say Demacar because that's Afrikaans word it's crazy uh, messed up <laughs> okay there you go so I'm gonna just use notepad plus plus and you're gonna search search for your placeable normally if you add it it should be right at the bottom under the last items Cowboy medium no it's not that here it is it's it will start with modder because it's a mod that's lying in your mod directory. So there it is, cow shed, cow barn. And what you do now, guys, click on the first name of placeable. It makes it purple and it shows you the end of the placeable. So that whole section, you just copy that. That's all you want. Sorry, this mouse of mine, I just sort of grabbed that whole thing. And go control C. Now we need to go into our own map. Go into uh, the mods directory again. Now I'm confused. Where's my mods? I normally have one here. I'll get I'll get organized again, guys. So just right click there, go into uh, pin into quick access, and I'll have my mods folder again. So then I can easily just click there, and I'm there. Now you go into your map. You open your own uh, map placeables. Sorry, not placeables. Maps and find your own placeables XML. There it is. And all you do now is go to the bottom of that, uh -huh, uh -huh. do this, do that, press the home button. So you just enter, make a new line, go control V and place that whole piece of text in there. And guys, now what you need to do now, um, I've actually explained it a, a little bit crazy. Um, when you place the, if you place the, the mod in your own map, Make sure you place it in the right spot. Um, you can, however, go into your editor now and choose the right spot for it. I'll, let me show that process. If if you are happy where you've placed it in the map while you uh, were in the map and you saved the game, then everything will work out fine. You don't have to change anything. But if you're like me, you want to do some ground and tick uh, ground editing and all kinds of things around the mod yourself then you open your map in the in the editor just like that uh, editor 902 and when you've got that in the map then you can now custom place it but the thing is you need to unzip your mod so let us do that while the map is opening 
go into our 22 directory mods uh, now I need to find that thing it was called um, let me just do this there it is cow shed all right cow shed um, WinRAR always use that and there it is so just make a temporary um, folder quick let's do that do that do that I just normally work with my desktop as like everything is now just popping up here all right new folder quickly do that um, just in there so we can extract our little zip file in there like so and then just copy everything out of the zip because now you have to open the the mod as well to place it in your map all right so now we have a new folder on the desktop with our unzipped mod unfortunately um, giants hasn't found a way to work with zip files yet in the editor <laughs> they can however open a mod you know <laughs> but uh, right so here we are and now you find the right spot in your map where you actually want to place this um, cow shit I'm gonna just for example use this spot here and then we're gonna go file import this is all just temporary guys you're gonna delete it when you're happy with the surroundings and whatever so on our desktop we, we have a folder called new folder that's the easiest um, we can do go open the cow shed we only want the i3d just to place it in game and this one's i3d is called main node the guy forgot to name his um, mod when he exported it control b to place it and there it is now what you want what you want to do is set up your surroundings modify the ground um, do whatever you want to do uh, this one is going to be like 20 say for instance we want to level the ground here now I'm going to go to subtract do replace control R you guys know the drill nothing new here to see I'm just leveling the ground here to quickly um, show you and you plant your little field and your grasses whatever you want uh, put some mud down let's put some mud down here it's animal mud uh, whatever you want to do you do all your changes you catch my drift and once you're happy with everything you just click on the main mod so it selects it and then you get your your um, translations here your, your your positioning so click on the first one control shift and C and it will copy all three for you go to your placeable this time the other one that we have uh, copied it from we can close we're done with that one we've got it in our in our map now and then just take this one's positioning on your own XML and paste it in there rotation also very important in this case we didn't rotate it so zero 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 if you did rotate it um, for some reason like that go there control shift C grab the rotation come back to your XML and just paste it in there right like so now there is some things that, that you can delete ID for instance you don't need that in the in the placeables XML uh, and age and price also you don't need that just like that and the game should be happy save it up just like that and now the thing is your placeable when when your map loads now will look at this line in in the XML and it will see oh this is a mod and the name is so it's going to look for this mod and it's going to find the file or the mod the, the description of the mod inside the zip file there it is the zip file and the XML that the, does the mod description or sets up the mod is Calbon 70 alright so that is how it works guys now when you save all of this when you're happy with it when you've done all your changes you save it um, in your actual map you save your map if if the change if you've made any changes to your environment you save it you can delete the the cow barn you don't have to delete it but you can I'm um, in my case I'm not going to do it because I don't want to save over my nice map <laughs> I've made some changes there that I don't like <laughs> all right and now you go back into the game and test so now we will go in here sorry man what am I doing 
I'm very bad at um, talking and working, you know. Farming Simulator. I'm going to start a new save. Just to show you, or we can delete the old one. And our mod should appear somewhere there in that field where we placed it. Oh my word. It's going to be a story to find it. So let's go there. New Farmer. Uh, continue. It won't actually be. Continue. And now, the thing is, the mod needs to be here now. Because... If the mod is not there, it's not going to find it in the game. So just make sure that you still have the mod in your mods folder. And everyone should be very happy. <laughs> Good stuff. Right, so once this map is, uh, or the uh, map is loaded, we can uh, go find that cow barn. It should be there. We should actually see it under our um, under our items because form ID 1 was selected So um, in the XML. So we should see it under our own... Uh, um, items one thing I forgot to say guys uh, if you only want the mod to appear in your map when you select the new former mode that first one uh, you have to add the default uh, default text I'll show you just now in the in the XML so we don't want any things there let's straight jump into the map can't remember where I placed it <laughs> guys you'll never know <laughs> i've loaded the wrong map <laughs> it took me everything but five minutes to figure out where on earth is the cow barn <laughs> it's supposed to be there but it's not i've loaded the normal default elm creek map instead of Chaco's rock but anyway all all jokes aside uh, into the right map this time and there is our cow barn so now you go visit it and obviously this one will not be set properly because um i've put it in the wrong or, or I've, I didn't save my map stuff but there it is it is uh, workable let's see if we can buy some cows hope it's not underground <laughs> I think it might be underground where's the cow little doggy thing here it is is this a doggy thing no it's not a doggy thing what's in there I can't see in there I'm stuck <laughs> Open up. I wonder if I can get in here. Oh my word. This is going to be a mess. There you go. Oh, that's the, just a tip point. At least you know the mod is working because all the doors are opening. Well, not all of them, but most of them that's supposed to open is opening. So guys, that is basically an example of here is the cow thing in Bob. So there you go. I, I might bomb out the game because the cows are going to be underground. <laughs> so let's rather not. Oh, mind you, they might be. Nah, let's just not bother with it. But the mod is working. You can see it's working. Uh, the doors and stuff is opening. And it is placed in the right spot. So that is, guys, your first way of placing a mod into your map. And that is just by extracting um, and placing it into your i3D just to get the surroundings correct for yourself then saving your i3d but deleting the mod from the i3d because uh, or, or the one that you've imported and that is important to remember it's not part of your map but you just want to fix the surroundings around the mod so everything is fine then you delete it out of your map and the xml will load it into your map and place it in the spot where you've selected great so now that we've got that all sorted we can uh, move on to the next the next item on our list. Let's just get there quick. And that will be there by our thingamabob. Now the next the next way to place a um, a placeable default game placeable. I see I've got an O there. I'll have to fix that. Um, for the for the icon <laughs> or maybe i'll leave it there it will attract some attention <laughs> good stuff all right guys so um the next way is to obviously work with the default game placeable now what i mean by that is if you go into your map uh the, the actual in-game default directory wherever you've installed farming simulator 22 you can you can go there and you'll find all your placeables under placeables now this is different from Farming Simulator 19 and 17 because here you have actual real placeables, the whole full um, stack of cards, everything is in here. 
you can for instance go into the lizard folder and there is like tons and tons of placeables it's so nice that we actually don't need much else to make very nice maps and stuff like for instance these floodlights these fences um anything you can think of from cow to chicken bonds and you can actually take this and modify it to your own heart's content make your own placeable and just that's a custom placeable that will be our third option uh yeah by our our um our little photo thingamabob yeah number three is your own custom mod all right so we're looking at number two now the default game placeable so let us work on that for now what i want to do uh, obviously is um, open a map for us because now we're going to work in the editor this is different from the previous process because now we're going to work in our editor and we're going to use the already existing placeables in the farming simulator 22 game and pull that into our map this will be probably the one that most people uses apart from the custom ones the first option it's not very popular because you have to have the mod in your mod directory always otherwise it won't work all right so so let us open the map again uh which one let's just stick to jocko's rock uh, i'll just have to um i'll just have to fix the wrapper again what i'll do uh, i'll just make a copy of my jocko's rock for now quick uh, i've changed the order so let's just copy that quick and drop a um, backup in my map bolts yes in my map bolts if it's 22 painted in there you see i always have a backup anyway but um you never know if i've made changes between the two that's for me to figure out later on all right so now i go back in here going to into go into our map open our i3d um and load it up in version 902 obviously and we are going to import just a standard in-game placeable into our map now this is very simple let's just add a garage to uh, or a um, shed into our main form great stuff always check your um, your uh, log file for errors in this case we're not fussed about errors because um, we are all happy now I just need to figure out where our main form is. Here it is. Say for instance we want to add a um, a shed, another shed here to the form. So let us do that. All right. So I'm going to add a shed here in this area, just for example. So we're going to go file as simple as this. Import. Go into our farming simulator 22 directory. So now open this up a bit where your game is installed sorry that one it's under your mine is in steam apps because got a steam game if it's yours it will be under program files farming simulator 2 whatever your directory is where you installed the game so you go into data placeables just make this screen a bit bigger just for interest sake and we're going to lizard and then find a shed uh, i think lizard has got some sheds um easy sheets what is that sheets oh no was it lizard easy sheets here we go so i'm just going to grab an easy sheet here just for an example you can choose any any of their placeables and it will drop it once again in the uh, map now you've got two options here guys you can either work with the 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 um the placeholders folder or you can work just by adding the the mod to your map and then deleting it afterwards because it's not going to be um, used as a placeable in the map it's going to be placed by the XML so the same process again because uh, this already exists in the default game so it doesn't matter you don't need it in your map but uh, yeah you've got the two options so I like to work with the placeholders because then I can see the um, my place uh, my placeables every time I open the i3d or the map all right so what I'm going to do is going to control X put it in the placeholders folder like so control V uh, for those of you who don't know the placeholders folder is a folder that hides everything from the the game but it shows it in the editor 
All right, so whatever you put in your placeholders folder will be visible in the editor, but not in the game. So they just keep that in mind. If you go into Window User Attributes and you select um, the placeholders folder, I just want to drop my user attributes this side. So if you select the placeholders folder now, you'll see there's a script running. It's on create is the script caller, and then the script name is placeholders.onCreate. And this script is a script callback, the type of script, it's a script callback, or, or the type of uh, attribute is a script callback, and the script name that is called is on create. So if you want to create your own placeholders folder, just create a new folder, create a transform group, like so. You can call it whatever you want, but placeholders is a good name. Placeholders, the name is not relevant can do that to any any uh, I've never selected it this site like so there you go so what you do then is just go in there you type a name for your attribute you call it on create like that with the capital C very important the spelling and you just say yeah to script callback and click add and then for the script to run you need on create again um, let's just go to the placeholders. There is a whole script name. Oh, what? There's some kind of a truck or something going past our house here. What on earth is going on here? It's a tractor, my guy. I hope it's not uh, uh, going to do that all the time now because I'm busy recording. Some guy busy working here on the road. <laughs> we live in a one horse town, guys. <laughs> so there's a lot of a <laughs> lot of farmers and things about and um, in our town you have to have hair on your teeth because there's cows walking in the street um, bucks and um, all kinds of things like sheep and uh, goats and whatever you can think of is loosely running around you know so <laughs> it's actually amazing anyway back to the placeholders folder placeholders dot on create exactly as I've got it there you just need to uh, type that in there I'm just going to copy it I'm lazy to type paste it in there by the script to run and there it is on create and now you've created the placeholders folder so very important the spelling placeholders dot on create um, with a C and a capital P remember that is the correct spelling all right I've talked too much now already so I'm just going to delete this one I don't need it I've already got one there's the easy shed and now as simple as control B just place it somewhere yo but it's a big shed <laughs> didn't expect it to be that big um, where's my little things it's another bug that I've, I've found in in the editor now look now for some reason my little round um, turnable thingamabobbies is gone it's so it's so annoying it does it sometimes it's a it's a script or, or, or something that's not working in the editor so now I need to save close the map open the map and then once it's open hopefully it doesn't take too long there you go you can continue and your little thingamabob will be back so uh, I was under placeholders and then easy shed there it is it's so annoying guys I don't know what is the problem giants just wake up guys wake up all right so same drill as before you put this thing in the right place where you want it you edit the ground around it make sure you're 100% happy with where you've placed it and save your map like so and then once you're happy with it everything should be honky dory all right so now we're just going to go back to our easy shed and now we want this this boy's information all right so what we do now um first of all is we're going to need the right placeable stuff to put in our placeholders um are not placeholders our placeable.xml so I've actually jumped the gun a bit. We first need to do the same drill as before. Go into the map. Into any map. 
doesn't matter which map we just want that line for the placeholders if you follow my drift great so there you go let's just open the game just go into career empty new form i'm just gonna go elm creek it doesn't matter which map i say you just need that little text file my bobby um for the placeables xml like i say guys it doesn't matter here i am in the map it it honestly doesn't matter which uh you you um which game or map you use you just need that line i'm just gonna well, find the mod uh it's a shed um shed so it must be here easy shed there it is so you just find the right one the same one that you've uh, pasted in the game place it anywhere go escape escape and save the map once again so it's the same drill guys nothing changes so we save that quit the game remember to make the note of the save game you used <laughs> very important i used save game one so i'll quickly go in there fs22 now it will be this one under the my games directory in my documents save game one to find your placeables again there it is and then hopefully it should be there right at the bottom again uh, easy shed there it is in this line you just grab the whole line like i say click on the placeable the first name and it will show you the end in purple that's the end of it if there was anything else it would have been there you just copy the whole thing Control c and now you open your own placeables from your map in my case um, using my chocos rock map maps placeables map us uh, map placeables there it is all right so now i go to your own placeables find a spot for it doesn't really matter where you put it as long as it's nice and organized Control v to paste it like so and now there's a few things that we need to obviously change it's in this case the <coughs> once again the id you can chuck and the age you can chuck and price you can chuck doesn't matter if this is a default game uh, item that you want in the default game you're just going to grab this line default form property true add it to your mod like i said in the previous um the number one um solution or, or, or option that we had a look at if ever you want a mod to be only in the first mode of the game you have to add this line here because it's a default form property and then it won't load that mod or item in the other two hard and difficult modes you know all right so you get the story there good just want to make my thing a bit sharper there and now we just need once again go back in here where we were grab our Control shift c to copy all three of the, the positioning um, data back into our placeable the old one that we saved the game the save game one we can just uh, um, close up we don't need that anymore so we go to our own placeable now paste it in there and there you go make sure the rotation is same as well Control shift c back in here rotation uh, with that is it Control v and there it is guys right so now you can save and i'm going to show you now I'm going to delete I'm going to leave this easy shit in the placeholders for first um, the first uh, what do you call it um, the first attempt or uh, um, thing that I'm going to show is I'm going to leave it here and I've saved my map you've saw I saved my map so now I can open my game again in forming simulator and open the map and you will find that this shed will now should now appear exactly there and to um, just to show I'm not working with magic or anything I'm going to start and I'm going to delete this save game go yes start a new one somewhere on slot 2 new former and then uh, we're gonna go this time not Elm Creek but Charco's Rock just choose the right map um, and that's an in-game mod or uh, in-game placeable so there's nothing to select at your mod selection well guys here we are in game and sure enough there is our shed standing exactly as we've placed it we uh, we didn't do any ground modification or that because um obviously this is just for display purposes and 
just for information you know so yes there you go so that's our form sheet it's placed in the right spot i'm going to go out quit the game and this is something i still don't understand you can roll your mouse sometimes and nothing happens uh, it's just crazy anyways quit out and this time now i'm going to take the shed out of the placeable placeholders and i'm going to delete it just like that going to save it just so that y you can see that uh, um, it's actually pulled in via XML it's not part of the map at all and even um, even the placeholder also removes it from the game so you won't be able to see it in the game so there you go so let's go back into the game just one more time just to verify that I now click it sometimes sometimes I miss it there you go it's better right in game and let's verify ah any slot doesn't matter uh, charcoal rock continue start and I still I it should still be there um, because the XML pulls it in places it exactly as you spaced or told it where to place it and all should be well you should have a working mod or working placeable rather great which brings us obviously to our third way of placing which we will handle just now once this boy is loaded up right and there it is guys as it should be all right so that covers now the second way this is working with a real placeable guys so um an in-game one that's already the existing part of farming simulator so you just pull it into your map um, via the XML and all is well and working all right now moving on to our third and last um, way of working with uh, placeables is when you have your own custom mod um, in other words you've got something that you've modified out of either a mod that you've downloaded or something that you've built on your own or um, a placeable that's already in the game that you've um, extracted from the, the game and modified it and whatever and then you place that into the map so that's our third way of uh, working with placeables all right so let's have a quick look at that there's exactly the same uh, uh, process that we've just done with with one exception guys I'm going to show you that and just have a quick talk around that so let us use a, a little mod that I have converted it's uh, old squeaky that's uh, um, a uh, um, wind mill or a wind pump it's actually a, a wind pump it's not a mill it's a pump it pumps water out of the ground um, and then what you do uh, I've got it here under mods I think this is my just the directory where I save some stuff that I'm working on Control C. So you're going to take that mod or whatever, and this time you're going to put it in your map folder because you need to have it in your map folder. You have to work it from there. Because when you import something that is not part of the base game, uh, Farming Simulator 22, when you import something into your map, that R3D and all its needed stuff needs to be in your map folder. That is the difference. In in the previous case where we worked with an in-game placeable, it was part of the the actual item is lying in the farming simulator game so that didn't matter because we can just use it from there because everyone has got the game so it doesn't matter uh, um, if you share your file it will still be there because the XML will pull it from um, the R3D and everything will pull it from the actual in-game item that you have imported into your map I hope it makes sense guys <laughs> but now we are working with a mod or a placeable that is not part of the game so now you need to have a folder in your map normally what I do is just grab a uh, um, a directory for yourself make it placeable so whatever you want to call it um, oh my word I already have squeaky India wind pump and then you paste or place that whole mod with everything of it textures the i3d its XML everything you pasted in there because that's very important because now you have a mod that is not in the base game and it's separate so you have to have it in your maps folder all right so that's a big difference guys so the process 
stays the same you're going to open your map uh, maps us r3d you're going to open your map i'll just add another squeaky to our um to our list because i've already got squeakies in the map but i'll add another one to the farm just for fun so i can have an example <laughs> to work with all right so uh while we are waiting let's have a look there you go all right you see now, the, the thing is guys, I've added a shed here. I don't know by looking at the map that there's a shed here. The same as I don't know there's a workshop here. That's why this whole thing of putting your placeables down and deleting them just drives me crazy. Because now you can't see that there's stuff there. In your in your mind you think, oh there's nothing there. But in the XML it says there must be a shed here. So that's why I love using the placeholders folder and stack all my stuff that I put in the map. Like, there it is. I've got the shit. It's there. It's in the placeholders folder. It's in the i3D and it's in the map, but it's not in the, um, in the game, if you know what I mean. Because it's getting pulled in by XML, but you can see it in the, in the editor. That's what I love about that. All right. Well, guys, all right. I've actually realized that Old Squeaky or the windmill is not really a thing with functionality to it. So it's not going to serve the purpose for us because Old Squeaky you can place now anywhere on the map. It doesn't really matter. It's not going to be pulled in by um, XML. It's just going to be a placeable that you put down and it, it's there all the time in the map. That's Old Squeaky. So we're going to have to find something that is going to serve our need and purpose for this explanation so let us quickly go into the base game just grab a mod out of there and do the whole thing properly so let's go into farming simulator 22 find a uh, placeable that we can modify as our own for instance um i wonder let's use the same shed i'm going to use the same shed because we've already got um got the, the the right stuff for it so here we are there's an easy shed yes it will work fine um if there is no mod disk in your um in your shed this you'll follow the same principles that i have but if you have a mod disk file i'll also show you how to work with that right so in this case we're going to go easy shed 01 grab that folder Control c you just copy it into your map uh mods chocolate rock maps and placeables and find a spot in there this will obviously be under sheds i like to organize my things so that um yeah things is easy you know to find otherwise you have just things standing around so just place it in there and there it is so now we have got an xml that tells the game what this thing is if you open the xml you'll see the store data very important because you need store data for any placeable that you want to work in the game and uh, there's your um, your file name as well as the icon um, the store icon the store icon is important in this case um, our mod is part of the default game so you can leave that directory alone the same the same with the um, not the same with this i3d file because we're going to modify that now so what we're going to do is open this mod first in the in the editor and just do some changes to it so that it, it will represent something different you know not not a normal in-game thing all right so let us do that now just make sure i'm in mine not the in-game one yes all right okay so there it is easy shit you open it up i'm just going to add color to it or do something different with it and then we're going to save it so that it's different of than the in-game one all right there it is waiting for it to open okay so let's just grab the roof that's the snow thingamabob i wonder if i can uh, i've got user attributes open that's not important but we want material editing uh can i grab that like so easy shed viz so make that a b a little bit bigger uh grab that there right guys i've just put a like a wooden texture on the on the sides of it and on the roof so just to make it a little bit different from the in-game one so that you'll realize or, or recognize it <laughs> good and then just save the i3d and that's all i want to do just to have a difference onto it good 
I think it's saved. Good. Back into our map. Same drill as before. Let's just drop this uh, um, this boy in place. So go file, import. And this time it will be a placeable and it will be sheds and it will be easy shed. And you pull in the i3d same way as before. Nothing really changes. Control B, drop it down. I'm going to just this time just put it here on the edge of the field just for fun. Rotate it a little bit like so. Just to have it a little bit in the spot. And let's just put it there. All right, like that. That should be all right. I'm not going to do ground editing or any of that. Good. So um, now that we've placed it, we have uh, once again positioning. And like I said before, I like to uh, place my stuff in a uh, placeholders folder, player form, control V, so that it's so that it's um, in the I3D of the map and visible in the editor, but not in the game. All right. So there it is. Now we're going to go back into our XMLs. Um, this one we can leave open because we're going to work with it just now. Um, we want to go into our map. In my case, Chalkers Rock, Maps, Map US. You just find your XML, um, the placeables one, and there it is. And now a previous attempt. We on the previous one we we've already got this uh, line if you don't have the line you follow the previous um, uh, the previous uh, example we used so you go into the game place the the item save the the um, save the game and then go into your save game and grab the placeable information out of that copy it paste it into your placeable here in your own map and then that's it. And now we're going to modify this line so that it, it is because um, because the information in here is very important, guys. If you, if you don't have this information, your mod will never work. All right. So we're going to do some changes to it. Um, positioning, rotation, everything else as before. The uh, ID and the price and that kind of stuff you can delete, but just keep uh, keep the file name and all that stuff handy. All right. So, first of all, let's just modify our positioning. Let's get that out of the way. That's simple and easy. Control Shift C for the positions. And then just overwrite these. Control V, like so. And then rotation. Uh, we will go back there. Rotation. Control Shift C. Back into our XML. Overwrite the rotation. Control V. Right, like so. Good. Now what we do here, this is the old ones directory. So the file name now needs to point to our map folder because it's a, a custom mod. So we're going to go into our folder where we've placed it. We've put it under placeables, sheds, and easy shed. So there it is. There's our XML. That's the one we want to point to. So this XML got all the info of the of our placeable so I'm um, you click on top here go in copy the whole directory up to your map name so after your map name everything after that is your directory so it's maps placeables sheds and then easy shed zero one and that is the directory so you copy that go into your um, folder here and overwrite everything up to the XML name okay control V like so and then change all the forward slash the backslashes to forward slashes because they all need to be um, that way it's just how it is all right and then in front you put a dollar uh, where's my dollar uh, yeah, it's always avoiding me dollar map dir, and dollar so once you've put dollar map dir, dollar and a forward slash you've You've completed the whole line there. Just make sure that you've got the right name here. If your easy shit um, or, or whatever mod name is, it must be exactly the same spelling everything. So if you don't know, just um, what did I do now? If you if you don't know, just click on the on the um, name of the XML, Control C, copy the whole name and paste it into your. Um, what's going on here? Oh my word, my 
for some reason it's just going crazy anyways so then you can just overwrite this you can double click this if you double click it it's supposed to highlight only the easy shed 01 and then paste and there you go it will put the name in there for you all right um so the next thing to do is to add because we've got a custom mod it's not part of the game you need to have store data for it now in the xml of the mod or, or of the placeable there is the store data but we need to point we need to point the um, the mod description file to the store data because for some reason the mod description needs to show the game where the store data is so let's do that now that's the last step in our our thingamabobs so we go into our, our, our map find your mod disk it's normally the first directory of when you open your map you'll find your maps mod disk and there needs to be store items all right so if you don't have store items you can create one but i'll suggest go to go to the um any other mod or any other um not mod but any other map and go to the uh, mod disk of the map and just copy these uh things delete everything else in between the the store items open and close lines so that you end up with um with with something like like i've got here all right that's the easiest or you can pause the video here and type exactly the same stuff if you've made a problem the game the the, the editor or the text editor will tell you that if you if there's something not right for instance say if uh, you've misspelled something now what you'll see is if i click here on store items it's not purple it's supposed to be purple so if you click there and it's not purple there's a problem somewhere you see i've got some text spelling or whatever that's not right all right so just make sure that is fine and then all is well okay i'm talking way too much so what you also need is a line so i'm going to copy this first line copy it enter create ourselves a new line for um, press the home button and paste it all right so now we're going to overwrite this directory that so that it points to our xml file all right so the store items must show this xml has got the store data all right so we go back to our placeables and it's simple as grabbing everything from your map directory again right to the very end including your xml just copy that piece go back to your mod desk and overwrite what's already in there in that line control v so now it tells the store the, the xml now tells the the game when it loads wait there's a store item and the xml for the store item the data for the store is in this xml all right so there you is it there, there you are all should be well now we can save all of these that one we can save and our placeable we can save our map you can save uh because I've already got my thing. If you don't like using the placeholders folder, you can now delete this um, this shit. You can actually delete it out of the map, and it will not and what won't be visible in your editor anymore. All right. So I'm going to just save my map like that, just like so. All right, guys. Here we are. You can see it from afar already as I placed it. Doesn't look good, but because I didn't do terrain editing. Um, but there it is our mod is working or, or our placeable is there and everything is fine great man guys i really hope um this has been at least or at the least a little bit more informative and um given you a better perspective of the three ways that you can work with placeables and that is is there to um that is available for you to use you know and it does make a difference um all each one of these is a, has got its own use and um own need in the in the map or in the game and i think i think i hope i've explained it properly and uh, um, came across good <laughs> but yes guys uh, i really appreciate you watching the video and uh, please do share do like and also um, remember uh, if there is any of you that would like to join my patreons um, I've got in my video description my support links are there for Patreon and for PayPal. Very, very th big thank you to all the guys that do um, uh, support me there. You guys are awesome. 
And uh, yes, guys, have a wonderful day. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.